I'm back today. I wanted to just pop on really quick and do a grocery haul for you. I just got back from the grocery store and um, I didn't really need to go for dinners or anything like that, but I just needed to get a few supplemental items for our lunch boxes and like things we had run out of. So it's not huge, but some good stuff here. So let's see what I've got. Okay, so first of all, uh, let me show you the produce that I got. We have a veggie night coming up. We do like once a week a veggie night. So I got six ears of bicolor corn that we're gonna have with that. And I also got some sweet potatoes that we are just going to bake in the oven. And sometimes we like them savory with just some butter, salt and pepper, or sometimes we like them with cinnamon sugar on them, but not as often. Anyway, so we're gonna have those with, let me show you what I already have. This is from Trader Joe's I got to try, but it's this rainbow cauliflower here. And it looks great, so. Sweet potatoes, cauliflower, and corn. That's gonna be a meal for us. Um, I got this purple cabbage. I don't know why my son wanted it because it's purple and I said okay. I like it in salads but I have no idea what else to do with it. So if you have any good recipes or ideas of how to cook a purple cabbage, please let me know down below in the comments. And I got a cucumber and these shredded carrots, julienne carrots, because we love sushi in this house. And we have it for dinners, but I'm gonna try to make some for lunches this week as well. So I do carrot, cucumber, and avocado. I also got some green beans. We're gonna have them on a salad. I'm doing a um, hot for food salad, the hemp crusted tofu salad. And I'm gonna put some green beans on there and then steam some for whatever else. I don't know quite what yet. And I think that is all of my produce. So that's that. Oh, I got bananas too, because we go through these like crazy in this house. Like, whoa. Uh, I got mandarin oranges for my daughter's lunch. She loves these things. And I don't get them in the individual cups because they all have added sugar. These um, are sweetened with grape juice concentrate. So no sugar. I like that. Lunches. I also got these apple cinnamon rice crisps right here and um, I haven't gotten my family onto the plain ones yet. Hold on, my dog needs to go outside. And I'm back. He's going to need in in a minute but I have a moment to talk to you. So anyway, these things, um, they're delicious. They have sugar, but they go in lunches like in place of a cookie or a dessert. So I'm okay with a little sugar in a rice crisp versus something that's really unhealthy. So those are good. I also got these two new things to try. My son had one of these in the, in the store already, but I was so excited. Who didn't grow up with fruit roll-ups? Like these are so delicious. And they are just, I don't know, they're good for you. They're made with juice concentrates, dried juice concentrates. I had to get them. And then these are new. They're the kind fruit bites. So instead of like a gummy bear or gummy candy, something like that, I didn't open, well, we had one in the car. I don't have one open, but they come in these little packs. And I wasn't really that impressed with them. Like, I felt like I could make this on my own. It was just um, like dried, dehydrated fruit in a food processor and pressed together. Let me show you one. I'm gonna open it up and show you. So this is what it looks like. 
So, I mean, they're good, but I can do this by myself instead of paying for it at the grocery store and probably make it look a little more appetizing. Okay. I think, oh, I also got this, the hummus, tribe hummus, and it's in classic and roasted red pepper, three of each. It was actually cheaper than getting one of the tubs and there's more in it. So I got those easy to throw in a lunchbox. I got this vanilla soy milk. I know, I know people don't like soy and I tr oh, my son, did you see that? He escaped, he's supposed to be napping. Hold on. Okay, he's back in his bed. Let's see, hopefully he'll stay there. So I was on this, the soy milk, we like it in iced coffee. I get a big container of the Starbucks unsweetened medium roast um, iced coffee and I fill up a cup like three quarters of the way with that and then I'm the other quarter with this and nothing else and it's like the best iced coffee. So yes it's soy milk, yes it's sweetened but it's a treat for coffee every now and then and we like it. And I ain't got a problem with that. I also got Silk Almond Original Unsweetened Milk. Um, eventually, I would like to make my own almond milk at home. I have a Vitamix, but I'm the only one that really likes it right now. So for now, we're getting this. Um, it's unsweetened. If you're coming from regular milk, you might not like this one so much. You might want to start with a vanilla soy milk or something, or a sweetened one. Um, I personally don't like those unless it's in a coffee or something, like I said. Um, this is the closest to milk that I remember. I like it by itself. I can use it in cooking. So that's why I get this one. Okay, and we also use this, also soy milk, in our coffee. So soy milk in the coffee. I don't like almond in the coffee because it gives it a weird taste and coconut just, it's good if I order it at Starbucks, but at home, I don't like it. It doesn't like cut through the coffee as much. So, okay. Oh, also, this Go Veggie cream cheese. We don't get a lot of processed, you know, things. However, cream cheese on the bagels. We have bagels. My family eats bagels every morning. So um, this lasts us a while. We just use a little bit of it. And, okay. So speaking of bagels, I got these Pepperidge Farm bagels for my family. Now, I make my own bagels and I'm actually doing that this afternoon. So be on the lookout for that video coming up soon. I'm gonna videotape my, I'm gonna show you how I make bagels. Um, I do it every week for my family. They come out great, we love them. And yeah, it's great. They take a little while to make, super easy, but it only makes six bagels, so there's four of us in our family and a whole week. I don't want to be making hours of bagels slaving every week, so these are a supplement. My daughter likes them, so that's why I buy those. Um, I got some tempeh. I always like to have that on hand for any kind of recipe. I like to just saute it with some barbecue sauce put it on a sandwich from lunches. My husband loves this stuff. Um, I'm learning to love it. I used to, and then I didn't. And now I've realized um, if you cook it the right way, it's great. If not, mm. anyway, keep that on hand. I think, oh, I got these chips, the Xochitl. Xochitl. We're having nachos tonight. I'm also planning on making a video for the cheese sauce that I use. Um, it's not my recipe, but so good, so good. So um, these are as a base, and then we put beans and some TVP sometimes. Sometimes we just do black beans and then the nacho cheese sauce and lettuce, tomato, avocado, all that. So that's that. And 
last thing from this store. I got some elbow, holy elbow macaroni. Um, I like to make mac and cheese for the family. I make a vegan mac and cheese. And normally that's like our whole meal with a side, but I'm planning on making it to go with the um, hot for food hemp crusted tofu salad. So we can kind of balance it out and not have so much pasta, so have more salad. Okay, and then there is a tiny store near my house that is unfortunately going out of business. I love it. I would go there every day for like one little thing. So anyway, they were having 40% off. So I got this. I feel like people either know Loma Linda foods or they don't. Um, I grew up with these. I don't eat them so much anymore, but again, it was like $2 and this will feed my entire family. And I like it. It's um, taco, taco filling, but it's good on our nachos. It's made with soy protein. And last but not least, this I have never tried. If you've had TVP, textured vegetable protein, it's basically what this is, but this is sausage flavored. Um, they were out of the regular TVP because they're going out of business, so it's gone. So I need to order it online or something or go to Whole Foods, I don't know. So anyway, I got the sausage one to try something, like maybe in a tofu scramble or something. So anyway, that is all I got. I hope you enjoyed. Um, again, if you have a recipe or an idea for this purple cabbage, please let me know in the comments. Um, and if you're new, I'd love for you to stick around. Please hit that subscribe button and um, I'll see you in my next video.